As you likely already know, espresso comes in many different shapes and sizes. And in the last decade or so, nearly every aspect of making or talking about espresso has evolved in one way or another. And things that were once considered mistakes have become accepted additions into the barista scene. And one of those things is the turbo shot, which was originally described in the scientific study called Systematically Improving Espresso. I read the paper and did a video on it when it came out in early 2020, and even though I didn't see it as a way to save coffee from its current and future agricultural threats, I did see the value in the turboshot methodology and scientific process, so it did have a lasting effect on my personal espresso routine. But before we get into that, a quick word from this video's sponsor, Standart Magazine. Standart's mission is to connect the world through a love of coffee, and they accomplish that by bringing it directly to your fingertips. In an increasingly digital world, Standart sees the value of a real tangible product you can touch. Each issue from cover to cover is a labor of love. To sweeten the deal, they also come with a sample of coffee from some of the world's best roasters and a satisfaction guarantee. They also just dropped a fresh issue, so hit the Standart link in the description or head to standartmag.com Prometheus or use the codes Prometheus at checkout to snag a year subscription with free shipping direct to your door nearly anywhere in the world. Just so we're all on the same page, let's take a quick look at the basic outlines of a turbo shot, at least the way it's been described or adopted into the coffee scene. The shot itself starts with a 15 gram dose of coffee, ground somewhat coarser than your standard espresso, and should be aimed for about a 15 second shot time with roughly a 40 gram yield. Yep, that's pretty quick, roughly half the time it takes to pull a standard shot of espresso, but that's why they call it a turbo shot, and the thought process behind it is actually pretty interesting. For one, the coarser grind allows for greater consistency and repeatability, because the resistance created by a traditional espresso shot is inherently unpredictable. As the author of the study puts it, the shot either chokes, channels, or both, and you end up with a highly variable coffee you cannot recreate consistently. In the end, as you'd expect, the shot quality is subjective, but in my experience it's not as complex or dense in flavor, but carries a lot of sweetness and clarity, plus it's very drinkable as a straight shot. In terms of extraction, don't count it out because of its short contact time. Most of the turbo shots I've made have fallen well within the specialty standards, often between 18 and 19%. The turbo shot definitely has its place, but alongside the discussion of consistency and repeatability, in the paper they also talk about this thing called the tasty point, and this is where science and personal preferences meet. For me, texture is a huge part of my love for espresso, and so the turbo shot as it stands isn't my favorite. So this is why utilizing bits and pieces of the science, I found my tasty point. As a former 18 to 20 gram doser, I found myself dropping to 17 as my standard for a couple reasons. For one, it uses less coffee. More shots per bag is always a win, and since it's either drank straight or in smaller milk drinks, it just makes sense but also makes it easier to extract, both in terms of yield and evenness, as well as producing a slightly longer and more textural shot. My hybrid turbo shot is a 17 gram dose, ground at a slightly finer setting than the standard turbo, with roughly the same output and just three to five seconds longer. Like I mentioned, it comes out with more texture, but also carries through more of that balance and intensity that I crave in a shot of espresso, which also holds up in milk drinks, unlike the standard turbo. Also, the slightly longer shot time produces a higher extraction yield, often landing between 20 and 21%. In the end, my take on the turbo shot is more or less a positive one, not only for what it can produce, but for also opening the minds of coffee people everywhere. I can't say if it's the best way or the perfect way to make an espresso. How it lines up with a standard double, a thick ristretto, or an allonge is solely up to you. And with a little tinkering, you could also modify it to find your own, easily repeatable tasty point. I also found that the B Plus screen is actually pretty helpful in cleaning up the flow a bit if you're using a bottomless portafilter. But with that said, it's time to wrap this one up. Let me know your thoughts on the Turbo Shot, if you've tried it, if it's something you've enjoyed or not, and of course, drop any other coffee questions in the comment section down below, and I'll see y'all next week. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, hit that little bell button for notifications of new videos posted every Friday, follow my Instagram at Sprometheus for content throughout the week, my blog at Sprometheus.com, my coffee at littlegiant.coffee, and as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.